Well condition. Saying goodbye to a Kansas City icon, a public farewell today to Henry Block, who died last week at the age of 96. Block is best known as the co-founder and longtime CEO of H&R Block. Hundreds turned out for today's memorial at the Nelson Atkins Museum, where his children and grandchildren paid tribute to the special and successful entrepreneur, philanthropist, and family man. Henry Block loved Kansas City. He grew up, he grew his company here, and shared his wealth generously to benefit education, the arts, and healthcare. Fox Wars Kara Mashik is live in our studio now with more on his lasting legacy. Unparalleled, that is how many have described Henry Block's mark on Kansas City. He and his wife Marion loved fine art. A collection of their fine artwork is now housed in a gallery at the Nelson Atkins Museum. He also valued education, and there's a management school named for him at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. His wife Marion was diagnosed with advanced stage brain cancer and lived decades longer than doctors had expected. That is one reason Block wanted people here in the metro to have access to world-class neurological care. Five years ago, his estate gave $25 million to St. Luke's Hospital, which allowed for an overhaul of its neurological facilities, now named the Marion Block Neuroscience Institute. What it means for the people of, of Kansas City really is that they don't have to leave for world-class neurology and neurosurgical care. They can come right here and get the, the very best. You know, they don't have to go to uh, uh, the coast. They don't have to go to Chicago. I mean, the patients, and this is really what Henry and Marion wanted to do, is take care of the patients and the people of Kansas Today, the Block Family Foundation remains committed to investing in the community through the Nelson Atkins, UMKC, and St. Luke's. One of Henry Block's sons shared during today's memorial, his father said he owed a great debt to our city that he could never repay, and it's now up to his children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren to be responsible for doing all they can to, quote, repay that magnificent debt to this magnificent city. Karamashik, Fox 4 News.